Hi, this is Dr. Devin with Spinal Care Nevada, along with my trusted cohorts, Carson and Clover. And today, we're going to show you how to survive sleeping on your stomach. Please help us help others. Hit the like button, share it on your own social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great health content. And if you don't like it, hey, let us know that too. We're up for feedback. That's how we improve. So let's get into the information, and that way we can help you sleep like a baby. Okay guys, in one of the other videos on our YouTube channel, how we help patients sleep better, reduce pain, and wake up with less fatigue and more energy, we reviewed the two best sleeping positions as recommended by the Harvard School of Medicine. So smart people telling us what to do. It's also what we teach our patients. Patients who are seeking help with neck pain, back pain, or disc problems, pinch nerves. But we also discuss the position that's not recommended and even discouraged by the Mayo Clinic for causing stress in the spine and that is sleeping on your stomach. Okay, but listen, um, I'm a realist. Some of our patients and many of you can only sleep in the prone position and getting to sleep ultimately, it's the most important thing. Now, we know sleeping on your stomach is a big no-no during pregnancy, but according to Healthline, there are some positive reasons to do it as well. It reduces snoring, may help with sleep apnea. Sleep ultimately plays a critical role in anti-aging, muscle memory, um, immune system, also your brain's memory. And as I've learned in our household with a newborn, sleep kind of sort of maybe plays an important role in everyone's mood. My wife didn't hear that, but believe me, I'm definitely referring to daddy too. Okay, listen, I'm not the boss of you. I'm far from the boss of my own household, so I'm not gonna tell you what to do. And even though your stomach sleeping at night, I'm gonna go through all the reasons why you shouldn't do it. Again, I'm gonna teach you the safest way to sleep on your stomach, uh, but be sure to check out our other videos for when you're ready to transition to some time on your back or your side. Okay, quick review of the negative things that happen when you're sleeping on your stomach. So think of this, your brain sits up here, sends a spinal cord down the middle of the spine. The nerves come out the side, they run to every muscle, cell and an organ in your entire body. So when your head is in an awkward position and your back is in an awkward position during the night, or for that matter, just not supported, it can pinch nerves, put pressure on discs and obviously the muscles. In fact, if you find that you have pain or limited range of motion, when you turn your neck or your back more to one side or the other, you may have a subluxation. Subluxation is a condition when the bones or vertebrae go out of place, which again can pinch nerves and hurt your discs. In our office, we practice several fairly unique and gentle forms of modern chiropractic called NUCA and Arthrostim. Hi, this is Dr. Devin. Welcome to Spinal Care Nevada. I've been in practice about 20 years. We do a very gentle style of chiropractic. Come with me, we're going to meet a few of our patients. Hi, Gary. Hi, Miriam. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello there. Okay, step into my office. Gary, come on up on the scales. Okay. All right, so on day one in our office, we do a thorough history and digital x rays. Come on off, lay on your right side. And that shows me how to do a very gentle adjustment with patients on your right. Okay, here we go. Okay, here at the top of the neck is the top vertebrae nicknamed the atlas because it holds your head up. So the theory is if we can very gently nudge this back into place, it will not only get pressure off the brain stem, but it helps the head on straight. Sit up from there. I do need my head on straight. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> yeah. This instrument is called the arthrostim. The kids in the office call it the woodpecker. And it lets us get right under that bone and start to slowly open that up. So disc problems, pressure on nerves, uh, muscle pain. Okay, in Gary's case, he had what's called a kyphosis or a humpback that we've been working on. And by doing the gentle adjustment, it helps people sit up, even stand a little straighter. Obviously things like neck pain, back pain, pinch nerves. Okay, buddy, heads on straight. 
<laughs> the National Sleep Foundation actually said that nearly one third of people who have undergone a chiropractic adjustment say that they experience an immediate improvement in sleep. And remember, there are special pillows for sleeping on your stomach, and they tend to be made of a more breathable, softer material, and maybe even a little bit thinner. Some even have a hole in them, so you never have to turn your head one way or another. There's a few great options in the links below. Some are sold through mattress companies and some are standalone products. Remember, anything we recommend, we've researched, we've tested, 40 years of practice experience, all of our doctors and patients and all their feedback. So we're really straightforward. Rest assured, you're good to go with any of our recommendations. So let's do some demos. If you're sleeping on your stomach, try to rotate your head to one side or the other all throughout the night. In other words, share the load. You can also use a small pillow or rolled up towel just underneath your forehead, and that way your nose isn't hitting the ground. Combine all three positions during the night. Remember our other video on side position, back position, as well as some tips sleeping on the stomach, so if you can rotate it when you're ready to make the transition. So Carson is demonstrating how to use a pillow at night. You can put a pillow underneath your lower legs, and that keeps your low back with the normal curvature you have, or lordotic curve. Might look something like this. How's that look, buddy? Remember, you can also take a pillow and put it under your pelvis, like this, which also helps you maintain the normal curve of your low back. I recommend doing some pre-bedtime stretches as well. You can stretch your neck by turning it to one side and the other for 10 to 15 seconds. Chest and shoulder stretch, grasp your hands behind your back, push your chest out, and lift those arms up. That'll stretch both your shoulders and your back. Just learning how to stand. There's child's pose, if you're a yoga fan, cat cow, where you're on all fours, just like this, and you let your stomach drop out, and push your back up in the air. There's also a supine twist, where you're on your back, like this, and you let your legs flop to one side and then the other for about five to ten seconds. And finally, there's a low back extension exercise. Boom. Also known as the Sphinx or Cobra in yoga, where you can push your back up like that, or known as a McKenzie stretch. Be sure to check out our perfect posture video as well where we show you how to fix a dowager sump, get your head on straight, even fix unlevel hips. Having good posture before you go to sleep also helps how you feel when you wake up. Now remember, there's an important thing to do when you first get up in the morning and that's stretch. Every animal in the world does it, so you should do it too. Actually, I'll give you three things. Also be thankful that you're still breathing, so give thanks and tell the person you, next to you how much you love them. And if you don't have a person next to you, Tell your pillow, it worked for me. I got married to an amazing, amazing woman. A portion of the proceeds from the product links below go to the Humane Society for the protection of animals. Clover was a rescue dog. Someone turned her in at three months old because she had a bad leg. And guess what? She still has a bad leg, but we do everything we can for her and animals just like her. They have the best life they can. So if this video helped you, join us in helping others. Please hit the like button, share it on your own social media, and subscribe to our channel for more great health content. This has been Dr. Devin and Clover with Spinal Care of Nevada. Hope you have a rocking day. Oh my gosh, that was adorable.